Palestinian leaders say they've managed to control possible sources of coronavirus infections, except one. Tens of thousands of Palestinian workers in Israel. At first, the Palestinian government and Israel asked those who commute daily from the occupied West Bank not to do that and remain in Israel for a few weeks. But scenes like these angered Palestinians. Israeli buses leaving workers showing corona-like symptoms by the side of Palestinian roads. That and the growing number of infections in Israel led the Palestinian government to ask workers to return home. Jafar Ode, a father of six, came back to his village of Deir Ammar near Ramallah. He's in quarantine now with eight other workers. Our Israeli employer was keen on having us work at first, otherwise he would have replaced us and that would have harmed us financially. Later he asked us to leave and the workers stopped. Most workers have Israeli permits and travel to Israel and its illegal settlements through military checkpoints. Others sneak through by roads in the hills. It's almost impossible for the Palestinian Authority to track all arrivals. Community-based committees, especially in remote villages, are helping with movement restrictions. So far, the Palestinian Authority is trying to organize medical checkups for returning workers. Those who test positive for the virus are taken into compulsory quarantine centers, while others are asked to self-isolate. We've asked Israel to test workers for infections or that they allow them to come back in separate groups so that we can give them the medical service they need. Workers in Israel form around 20% of the Palestinian workforce. With more people now asked to stay home, the already weak economy will suffer further damage. This 15% of national income which will no longer be generated by these workers who have been coming back from it, from their jobs in Israel, but instead will, but, but rather will uh, have the effect of uh, reducing overall de demand in the economy and, and helping to further depress the, uh, uh, even the ability of the national economy to rebound once some of these measures are lifted. It's not clear whether Israel would allow those workers back after the Passover holiday. The Palestinian Authority cannot fully control their movement, and so far officials have been trying to appeal to the workers' sense of civic duty. But it's hard to tell if that gamble will work. Nida Ibrahim Al Jazeera, The Occupied West Bank.